Gersman. I'm the director of Crocodile and the Yangtze. It showed just a couple days ago at the Social Media Film Festival here in Las Vegas. Uh, it was a great event. I was at the uh, Mirage with the rest of the, the filmmakers and the different audience members. The lineup of the film was amazing. There are films that have been shown at top festivals around the world, and it was fun to be a part of something that was really focused on social media. Crocodile and the Yangtze is the title of my film. It's really a metaphor. Uh, Jack Ma, the CEO and founder of Alibaba Group, uh, he once said, eBay is a shark in the ocean, Alibaba is a crocodile in the Yangtze River. If you fight in the ocean, Alibaba will lose, but if you fight in the river, we'll win. And basically it was just saying that um, eBay was quite a success in the US and a lot of other countries, but to go into China um, and succeed there, they needed to adapt and become a little bit of a different animal. That's really what the film's central attention point is about, is behind the scenes of this battle of the Chinese company versus the U.S. company and um, how one side prevailed by focusing more on the local uh, market. I went to China in 1994, uh, really for the first time. I went just to go study Chinese. I thought maybe I might find it interesting and I ended up getting just really hooked on it. It was a time that China was changing, the economy was changing, uh, the culture, the politics haven't changed so much, but the internet is making it a much different place. Um, but I went in 94, I ended up getting a really sort of an off-the-wall job as a host of a travel show on Chinese national TV. And then after getting my MBA in the US, I went back to China and ended up getting involved in this internet revolution, which is changing China every day. Uh, politically, it's beginning to become more responsive to the public. Uh, economically, it's changing China socially. So just like every, the internet's changed everything here in uh, the US, you could almost say even more so in China, in a place that had been so close to the world for a long time. It was a great panel discussion we had, and a lot of the discussion focused on how members of the public through social media are going to help keep corporations and companies uh, responsible. You know, now it's so important for companies to be responsive to their customers, their audience. Social media makes it that much more uh, democratic in the way that companies treat their employees and their customers. So a lot of discussion with that, and here of course you have a local example of Zappos that was a big part of the discussion. Uh, my own film was about a Chinese company, Alibaba.com, talking about a lot of the same issues. So it was interesting to see that these themes are going on uh, here in Las Vegas or in China, around the world, and social media is having a huge impact. Actually, I think right now is a real golden age for film, and it's because of all the changes in technology. I mean, everyone knows the costs of making film have come down, but the most exciting thing in the last couple of years is that the ability to distribute online is much better, and social media is a big part of that. Uh, instead of uh, one critic or one distributor making a decision on your film, actually, it's more the community and the actual audience members who are going to have a real say in what they like. And so it'll be much more of a meritocracy where small independent filmmakers can create something themselves, distribute it online, and uh, events like the Social Media Film Festival really show that um, things are changing and that uh, small independent filmmakers can make things that hopefully have a really big impact. It was just great to be a part of the first year of the Social Media Film Festival and seems it laid a great groundwork and got the word out and I think uh, it can continue to grow in the future. Social Media Film Festival, being social, going global.